How did we meet? Um, we first met at church. My mom forced me to go to youth group one Wednesday night. Um, and me and my best friend walked upstairs to the youth group room and I saw Trevor. <laughs> and I thought he was the cutest guy ever and he was in his baseball uniform. Um, and for some reason he wanted to talk to me. <laughs> um, and then I got a text the next morning and he's like, hey, it's Trevor from church. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then it all went from there. <laughs> How did we meet? We met at youth group at Northwood Baptist Church. Um, I just got done with baseball practice and uh, I was in my baseball uniform and I saw over there with her friends and uh, I started flipping my hat onto my head. I thought she was really cute so I went over and talked to her and uh, we sat together that uh, sermon and then next day I texted her in the morning and I was like, hey, it's Trevor. And uh, things just took off from there and uh, we only knew each other for about a month and we started going out and then here we are about almost eight years later. Well, how did we get engaged? So I took her back to the place we met at Northcliffe uh, in our youth room and uh, uh, no one was there. I pretended that we had to pick up something from stage and we went there and my family was hiding behind the uh, the light board the, where all the electronics are and uh, they were hiding back there with cameras and I just asked her if she would spend the rest of her life with me. I had this uh, poem read, uh, planned out and I just broke down and cried and just popped the question because I couldn't wait any longer. Eyes that see right through words of prose, worlds of me and you. So I knew that Trevor was the one um, pretty much from the beginning. There was no other like option. Like we just always talked about getting married. We Our goal was to get married the day that we turned 18. <laughs> um, and we just, there was no other choice. Like we wanted to get married from the beginning, even at 14 and 15 years old, we just, we knew. How did I know she was the one? Well, I knew she was the one when um, she was always encouraging with me. She always uh, pushed me to be a better person. Uh, I've never had that really in my life besides my parents. No close friends, no nothing. They never encouraged me to uh, be the best person I could be. So it was uh, definitely uh, a big surprise when someone else decided to you know, root for me as much as she did. So I knew that I wanted to keep her around for the rest of my life. No. <laughs> I'd say just keep loving each other the same way you have the last eight years, and you guys will work out fine. I would have to say that if Trevor can hold on to his sense of humor, and Maddie can hold on to her patience, everything's gonna be dandy. But honestly, I think the number one thing is to make sure that they don't stop trying to win each other over every day. 
Yeah, I practiced that one in the mirror because I knew this was coming. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I gotta make it sound good. Was that did that sound rehearsed? Tayamo, Madison, and Trevor. I can't wait to watch you guys grow together in this new chapter of your life. Trevor, you better take care of my girl. Congratulations, you guys. I love you both. The advice that I would give you guys is just listen to each other and take care of each other and love each other as much as you did from day one to the end of the times. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. We, we love you. We love you. Madison and Trevor, I wish you guys all the best. Uh, keep it uh, a healthy, happy relationship. Talk to each other when you're in doubt of anything and uh, always trust one another with all your heart and uh, just live a long, happy, and fulfilling life together. All right, guys, um, just, just keep being yourselves. You, you guys are put on this planet for one another and just, just stay, uh, stay loyal and stay with the love throughout Jesus. Hey, Trev and Maddie, we love you guys so much. We hope that you have 20 years of wedded bliss like me and Dad. Just remember, always fight for what you love and never go to bed angry. And just always know, even in the hard times, that you love each other and it's worth it. All right, guys, definitely, like Mom said, just continue to work through it. The tough times and the good times. Don't ever stop dating her, Trev. And always respect each other. And once again, do not go to bed angry. Love each other and date forever. Madison and Trevor, we just want to uh, wish you the best of luck in the future. And just our advice, my advice to you is to... Do lots of fun things together, laugh, uh, travel, um, make the most of your life together, and just um, have lots of children and, uh, and, and lots of cats. <laughs> and I pretty much would say the same thing, Madison and Trevor, um, and do a lot of antiquing and uh, just come around whenever you guys get a chance. Taking me back to the sleepless nights Phone calls and candlelights Those were the things I liked the most And back when... In five years, I hope when we look back we always remember to put God first and always to trust in God and not get caught up in like the day to day and like if we have arguments and stuff to know that there's a bigger purpose for us um, and just always put our faith and trust in Him. <laughs> When the world was smaller and everything was ours You're taking me back, you're taking me back When everything moves slower, you're taking me back to better days Bouncing off of that too, I think that he's one of the main reasons why we are still together. Because we have been up, uh, had lots of ups and downs in our relationship. And if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be together right now. I'd be a completely different person if it wasn't for you and God. And uh, I certainly believe that he's kept us together for a reason. And I'm just excited to see what that reason is going to be down the road. You're taking me back. When the world was small. So we've always talked about having a lot of kids. Um, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> we want to have five, right? <laughs> we, yeah, we want five. Um, I want them to always remember that love can like conquer anything and that as long as they have love and like they trust in their partner and trust in their parents <laughs> that they can succeed through anything um, and put God first always. And a big thing is you have to try. It doesn't come easy. You have to keep trying uh, because you're going to run into a, a difficult time and you need to fall back on your partner. And if you and your partner aren't getting along about something, just remember the reason you fell in love with them. Yeah, it's a better day.